Don't leave me skunked at this hole. Come on, hit it. Yeah. That's a nice one. Look at that thing. That's a chunky fish. This gives you the perfect angle to see that huge weather front that's coming in and I'm about to just truck Calgary with snow. The sun has gone down and we are exiting the river. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. You guys asked for it, so I'm getting out on the river midwinter. About three or four days to Christmas and looks like a huge Chinook is blowing in. The wind is quite warm. Might be a little windy today, so I apologize about the audio, but we're gonna try to get some fish on this beautiful sunny day. We're dropping in just under Glenmore. We're gonna do the city section. We don't have a lot of daylight hours, so we better get moving. Really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Just hit 2K, means a lot to me guys. Let's keep that going. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and let's get into it. All right, it's been a while. Water's cold, but we're still after those fish fingers. Let's get it. This is a nice hole here, but obviously there's a spin caster. Don't want to poke it. Chucking some serious spoonage. But it is a good little dip. As you guys can see, if you were floating by here, it's a little deep hole right in front of this guy. Hugging that bank. And you can almost see the drop off here by this riffle. Looks like a little muskrat there. Chilling, taking in the Chinook wind. Take it in, buddy. Seen any fish? All right, guys, I just pulled a beautiful fish up, lost it immediately. Realized I didn't have my net on me anyway. So I'm walking back. We're giving it a couple minutes. We're gonna try again. This nice little inseam here. Toss the nymph rig up into there. Oh, look, and a bald eagle. Wow, buddy's fishing with me. Tossed the nymph rig up into that inseam. Basically, they're sitting in the soft water there, letting the fast bring food by them. So we're gonna toss it in there and try again. Hopefully you can uh, see the fish up there for me, buddy. Let's try that again. Let's make sure to be nice and soft. So we're coming in here, not to spook the fish. All right, that's money, baby. Get in there. Come on, it's absolutely where they are. They didn't like that pass. We're gonna try to go a little bit further. There we go. Come on, hit it. Yeah. That's a nice one. Oh, is it just a whitey? We hooked a fat whitey. Oh, Chunkster ate the worm, eh, buddy? You like that little worm? All right, there's the first fish. Nice little area. 
Let's get that off. Nothing to write home about, but still the first fish in the net. It's a decent sized white fish too. Sell down. There we go. On the worm. There you go. Nice pink cheeks. Set you home. I mean, even though there's a major, major highway right there, if you block out the noise of the, the cars, it's so beautiful. End of December. Look at this little guy right here. Look at him. <laughs> right in front of me. I hope the camera can see that. Look at his little tail out of the water. I mean, we're in the middle of a city and we got some pretty wild nature going on. See you later, buddy. The wind is picking up a little bit. We have a little lull in the uh, river here. So I wanted to go over how I've rigged my rod for a winter fishing expedition, I guess, if you want to call it. So because it's much colder, they're going to be much deeper, deeper holes. They're not coming to the surface as much. The metabolisms are a lot slower. I apologize for the wind if you guys are having a tough time hearing this audio. But basically you can see here, I'm about nine feet from my indicator all the way to the very bottom fly. Now, let's get a little closer here. So indicator. Let's get a little closer here. So from my indicator, I have some like one two x going right down to this swivel now the swivel acts as a split shot weight and it doesn't get my flies tangled so i do have a little tag little tag end tied off here and that is a small little wire worm and then below that about twice the length is another wire worm You guys can see here that I tie these wire worms on with that loop knot so they have much more opportunity to dance around in the water. That one is the same thing. We got a little loop knot and then at the bottom I have a clinch knot to my very bottom fly which is a little leech. So that's the rig. It's quite complicated. You don't want to do a lot of false casting but uh, it's been able to hook some fish Today, hopefully we can get some larger rainbows in the net. All right guys, I just pulled another fish at the smelly dog park here. Looks like someone's having a rough go over there. Not sure what they're doing. That's two fish I've pulled now that have come off. I'm not sure if it's any of my hooks, just making sure. No, they're still bent in. But as we know, where there's one, there's more, so, I don't have a lot of time today because it's going to get dark at about 4 o'clock, but we'll try to catch something out of here. Yeah, we hooked it. We hooked it. Is it just another stinking whitefish though? Oh, it was. There we see it's a stinking whitey. That's okay. White fish all day. I guess white fish is better than no fish. Guys, we got something bigger. For sure we do. Let's kick to the shore. It's not fighting very hard. What? It got a sucker. <laughs> a sucker fish. Get out. <laughs> That's a fat sucker fish. <laughs> Hilarious. Took the leech too. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, he's a fat 
chunker. Whew. Look at that thing. That's a chunky fish. Took that little leech on the bottom. See you later, bud. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to go live on my phone. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it, $1,100 phone. We're attaching this stupid little floaty to it in hopes that that would save it. Seems strong enough. Attach that. Got a little bit of a lull before I wanna get to the next hole to fish. So, uh, I thought maybe let's try to go live, see how that goes. The GoPro, 100% battery. Say hello to the live. You'll be in it. We only got 15 people watching. But this is what's going on. All right, guys. So we went live. We floated down a little bit. It's been quite cold, so I'm not trying to spend my whole day out on the water. But hopefully, we were able to get some fish in the net so we're gonna keep just plugging along down through here this bank up here is another one of my favorites so we'll get to that but i thought i might just try this little seam here before we move on the live was fun let me know what you guys think of that i can definitely do that more i mean it's like you guys are coming fishing with me The sun has gone down and we are exiting the river. Hope you enjoyed that short video. I know it wasn't as productive as some of my summer videos, but we did get to get out at the end of December here and we caught a couple fish in the net. So if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already and until next time guys, tight lines.